Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight I'm going to test out the brand new Panda Cloud Antivirus. Um, just came out of beta, I think it's version 1. Or whatever they want to call it. Um, so, um, I went and downloaded it. As you saw, it's like 23, 22 megabytes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to install it, and I'll be back after the install process is done. See you in a second. Okay, so the install is finished. Um, you need to create an account if you don't already have one, just like uh, on the other version, on version on uh, beta 3. Let's see what we got here for memory usage. We got, what, about uh, 30 megs total, roughly. So that's not bad. So let's get started with some testing here. I have 13 or so uh, brand new malware links. Let's see what kind of damage I can do here. Okay. Okay, I don't think that one seems to be working, so we'll move on. Okay, first one here. That one might have got blocked. Number three here. Looks like that one got blocked. Number four. Four not, might not be working. Six. Looks like that one got blocked. Seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. I'll do that last one too. Okay, so oh, looks like a system warrior setup rogue here. Let's see if it, uh, it installs. Mm, it looks like it installed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Panda, and I'm going to do a full scan. We'll do a scan of everything. We won't do the three and a half inch flap here or the DVD because you know, we don't need to. And uh, once the scan is done, I'll be back and I'll show you what it finds. So I'll see you when uh, it's done scanning. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it finished scanning here and it hasn't found anything. It says scan canceled though. That's kind of funny. And then here it says the scan has been completed correctly. So. 
Either way, I didn't cancel anything. That's what it found. Um, so, of course, now we have we still have some junk left on here, as you can see. So, uh, I'm going to try to install um, Malwarebytes on here, if I can. The system's definitely pretty infected here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to restart in safe mode. And um, see if I can get it installed. So I'll see you in uh, safe mode. Okay, so I'm not going to go uh, more into testing here for, um, for Panda because if I try to start into safe mode, um, it can't. It gets a blue screen. So it means there's a rootkit on here. Um, and I could go and scan with Kaspersky bootable and get rid of it that way and stuff. But in my opinion, uh, Panda failed miserably. Because if you see if I hit to try to go in a safe mode, it tries to load up drivers and then it just blue screens. Means that there's a uh, rootkit on here and that's that. You have to use a bootable CD. So I'm going to let this go see if I maybe I can get it to start that way but either way um, even if there's a rootkit on here which I'm sure there is there's no way to get rid of it from inside of Windows you'll have to boot up from a CD or a USB to thoroughly clean the computer let's just see what happens here and try to go in this way no oh, I got my desktop back amazing Okay, so let's see if I can actually get Malwarebytes installed this time, and I'll be right back. Yep, as you can see, my desktop is gone again. So, I'm going to call this a uh, fail. A bad fail on Panda. It uh, even killed Panda. So, that's it for my Panda review, and I'm going to move on to my other ones. Um, see ya. Talk to everybody later.